The goal of the Stormwater Pollution Prevention Plan is to prevent the contamination of surface waters of the state. Remember, preventing pollution is the best solution. Now let's discuss the permit requirements for developing a Stormwater Pollution Prevention Plan. The Stormwater Pollution Prevention Plan is a written plan intended to maximize the control of significant materials and to reduce the exposure of significant materials to stormwater runoff. The Stormwater Pollution Prevention Plan must be designed to address the needs at your facility. It must be user-friendly, readable, and to the point. Be specific. Do not include information that is not relevant or procedures that are not feasible to your situation. Sample stormwater pollution prevention plans are available at the Eagle Industrial Stormwater website. The first step in developing a stormwater pollution prevention plan is source identification. A site map or sketch must be completed to adequately assess the facility. The stormwater permit requires the following 13 items to be identified on the site map. Buildings and other permanent structures, storage or disposal areas for significant materials, secondary containment structures and descriptions of what they contain, stormwater discharge points, location of stormwater and non-stormwater inlets contributing to each discharge point, location of NPDES permitted discharges other than stormwater, outlines of the drainage areas contributing to each discharge point, structural runoff controls and stormwater treatment facilities, areas of vegetation, areas of exposed and or erodible soils, impervious surfaces, name and location of receiving waters, and areas of known or suspected impacts on surface waters as designated under Part 201 of the Michigan Act. The bottom line is that the map should show everything that is relevant to stormwater at the facility. Once the site map has been completed, the written portion of the Stormwater Pollution Prevention Plan can be developed. The stormwater permit requires that the Stormwater Pollution Prevention Plan include a list of all significant materials that have the potential to contaminate stormwater runoff. A significant material is any material that can degrade or impair water quality. Examples include, but are not limited to, soils, salt storage, raw materials, fuels and lubricants, wood and metal chips, plastic pellets, food products, waste materials and trash, and plant and animal waste. While developing the Stormwater Pollution Prevention Plan, all sources of potential stormwater contamination need to be identified. Remember, the outside and inside of the facility must be evaluated to determine the materials and practices that could be sources of contamination to stormwater runoff. Often, significant materials get tracked outside and exposed to stormwater runoff by vehicles or employees. For each significant material identified, the Stormwater Pollution Prevention Plan shall describe the ways in which the significant material is or has the reasonable potential to become exposed to stormwater runoff. In addition, the inlets and discharge points, which could be impacted during a release, must be identified. To further describe the pollutant sources, the Stormwater Pollution Prevention Plan shall include an evaluation and written description of the reasonable potential for contribution of significant materials from the following 12 areas or activities. Loading, unloading, and other material handling operations. Outdoor storage, including secondary containment structures. Outdoor manufacturing or processing activities. Significant dust or particulate generating processes discharge from vents, stacks, and other air emission controls, on-site waste disposal practices, maintenance and cleaning of vehicles, machines, and equipment, areas of exposed and or erodible soils, sites of environmental contamination listed under Part 201 of the Michigan Act, areas of significant material residues, areas where wild or domestic animals congregate and deposit waste, and other areas where stormwater may contact significant materials. 
Using a table is an efficient way to detail all of the information required. The Stormwater Pollution Prevention Plan must include a listing of spills that have occurred at the facility in the last three years. Any stormwater sampling data that is required by an industrial stormwater permit needs to be retained with the Stormwater Pollution Prevention Plan file. The Stormwater Pollution Prevention Plan shall describe the actions taken to investigate potential illicit connections to the storm sewer system. All illicit connections to the separate storm sewer system or the waters of the state, such as an internal floor drain, should be permanently plugged or rerouted to the sanitary sewer system. Any connections to the sanitary sewer system will require authorization from the Municipal Wastewater Treatment Facility. Any discharge from an illicit connection is a violation of this permit.